Yeah, you, you can see. Hello! Hello! Oh, hi, everyone! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, well, it's no, no longer Halloween, actually, for fuck's sakes, because, um, uh, yeah, it's already past 11. Not past 11, it's already past 12, so it's now November. Um, so there's no, like, Halloween. I didn't have really, I didn't really have a Halloween this year. I uh, didn't really watch the. Didn't get to watch all the Halloween Marathon movies since I've been busy lately, and not just that. Uh, of course I'm grown up, but I'm not good at fucking trick or treat or anything like that. But you know, yeah, night like that's that's what happened. You know, like that's what life life has to be humble, fuckers. You know. So yeah, uh, and you know I don't need fucking I don't need candy people I don't need to fucking eat candy you know what I need I need a soda wine glass they gotta start people motherfuckers need to start giving this out this is give me a soda and wine glass I'll be fucking happy all right oh shit oh shit fuck yeah here the motherfuckers here I guess like fine wine makes me feel good man makes me feel living well. So, you know. So, yeah, I've been busy. That's why I didn't get to fucking watch that Halloween marathon. It's, you know, still on. But I'm gonna miss it because I'm doing this. And not just that, you know, yeah. It's whatever, people. You know, it's Halloween's not for me anymore. I'm not a kid. But, you know, it is what it is. I stopped, like, trick-or-treating since I was, like, 12 years old. Or, I believe, like, since I was 12. Back in 2012 or something. Or 12, 13 or something. And then... Yeah, I remember, it was around that time when Hurricane Sandy happened, that was like my last Halloween. After that, I stopped trick-or-treating, I was just home watching Halloween movies and shit. So it's whatever. Um, so yeah, Halloween has, has come and now go, I haven't seen any trick-or-treaters and shit. Since I was in college and crap and doing some work. But, you know, yeah. That was my Halloween, really. It wasn't anything special. It was literally, like, probably the worst. But it's whatever, you know, because I don't really care for Halloween. Now I'm just fucking caring about Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that is the mo that is why it is, after all, the most wonderful time of year. Well, oh, why do, you, why do you need to have Thanksgiving and Christmas to celebrate family? Shut up. It's fucking awesome. Because, you know, we get to eat some good food. And so it's a reminder of fucking family time, okay? That's why I love Thanksgiving and Christmas even more, you know? With fucking and besides again here's the pros people you don't fucking want to go to fucking neighbors houses they can do shit with the candy so you don't want to do that shit that's why I'd rather just you know get my own fucking candy when I feel like having candy or free candy well you know they do some stupid shit you know that's just how crazy people are for example fucking saw a crazy person uh, a freaking uh, in a, like people say how you in the train stations freaking people are crazy motherfucker Freaking like everywhere is crazy. For example, I was taking the bus and I see some fucking retard saying that, oh, yo man, you gotta fucking teach the kids how to clean the fucking because the fucking street was like litter and shit. Yo, you gotta teach, but this motherfucker is throwing shit in the fucking streets yourself. So fuck off, retard. Go fucking hard. And I was like, and I was like getting ready to fucking beat this fucking ah, nigga up for fuck's sake. Because I literally was like, he was trying to talk to me and a couple buddies and shit. 
So, you know, I was like, to like you know, right? And, you know, I'm about to fucking go down because I'm about to fucking fix this sits in this motherfucker. Because, you know, you can't do that shit in the street, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Halloween has come and go. And, um, yeah. I miss my Halloween movies. And now eating some girl pizza. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So let's just fucking talk about I don't know what I'm plan. What I basically want to do in this video is to do a sort of ranking video. You know, you probably seen a lot of different videos. You probably seen some videos where people rank their fucking videos and stuff. Not videos, but rank fucking the Howie movies and shit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm basically do the, cause you know, why not? Especially cause now the new movie has came out. I'm gonna fucking rank the uh, 11 movies from least to greatest. Uh, yeah, so my top 11 fa favorite Halloween movies from least to greatest, ranking them and talking about them. So let's get on to it, motherfuckers. Okay, so let's rank it. So I I just wrote it just you know why not just to remi remind myself of course. So no, number 11, uh, yeah, uh, number 11 is Halloween 2 from 2009, you know, the reason why I don't like Halloween, of course I don't like, I really don't like the Rob Zombie films, honestly, I know if they're, they're like, either you love them or you hate them, I am of course that, those kind of people who actually hates them because it's just so fucking stupid, uh, they just ruin, it's an unnecessary reboot, honestly. And it's really a shitty reboot, okay? Just straight up. Um, Rob Zombie, who directed this and crap, like, If I live, I decided to say it is too long, and then it goes up, and I don't know. Shut up. Oh, man, I'm glad I just changed that theme song. Um, you know, I ain't gonna fuck with this big crap. Big crap, crap, make them go, oh, shit, oh, shit. And yeah, that's, what, that's another reason, people, why, why I fucking, it sucks. My Halloween sucks. I get. I didn't get the fuck into the big black cats. We kept go. Oh shit! Oh shit! But you know, it is what it is. I guess you know that's when you're safer. You know, Halloween's the dangerous time of the year. You know. So yeah, Halloween too. You know, just it just it, it's really that bad. The foul, unnecessary foul language and the whole fucking you know red that crap. It just in general the Rob Zombies version of how they are atrocious, okay? They're really fucking atrocious and just, uh, what they did to the movie. It was like some stupid weird shit. Like, it's really bad, okay? It's, it's really fucking bad, you know? It's really, uh, like, uh. Number 10, no surprise, fucking, uh, uh, you know, you got this shit that was probably the worst Halloween movie ever. You got the second worst. Halloween fucking 1 from 2007. Same fucking bullshit, but it was just less worse than the fucking, you know. Oh god, they're, they're both horrible. They're both horrible. The Rob Zombie's Halloween movies. They're both fucking horrible. They're like, god almighty. I don't know what to say. Um, number nine, probably Halloween, Resur the Halloween Resurrection. Howie Resurrection. I, I I don't hate it as much as people claim they hate it. It's it, it sure it's a bad movie. Yes, it is a bad movie. But you know it, it's not as it, like people. I understand why people don't like it. Of course, I agree with what a lot of people say. But I will say this: it does have a great opener. If you think about it, Halloween Resurrection has one of the greatest openers to a fucking Halloween series, especially because. The idea of like fucking Laurie Strode and Michael, they face in the first in the first act, the opening act, she was killed. Uh, you know, you think about, it. even though it's stupid that that's what they went, it's kind of a cool opener. In a way. But if only like yeah, if they were gonna end the series and shit, and have fucking Laurie Strode die in that movie, it should have been the ending. But yeah, it's whatever. Um, but the, yeah, the whole movie was not that great. You know. For the bitches, I'll fuck in the big black couch. The main bitch, she was flat as fuck. I'll still fuck in the big black couch. Make go, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, same thing with fucking, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, whatever. 
And that's all I done gotta say. Um, number eight, Halloween six. This movie is really bad. Oh no, no, I was gonna say. I uh, forgot. Halloween Resurrection. As much as how bad the movie is, fucking bust the rhymes. Even though, yes, I know it's stupid that what he did to Michael, fucking, fucking going Jackie Chan and shit. It's funny as hell. It's funny as hell. I think that shit is funny. And Buster Rhymes is funny. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just think it's fucking funny. I know it's to fucking ruin Michael Myers away, but if you just think it, it's fucking fu hilarious. I loved it for that. So, but still, the movie was bad. I wish I would probably have ranked it higher, but you know, there was a lot of bad movies, so. And Halloween Resurrection was really a good movie in general, so. But hey. I'll give it for comedy, but again, it's a Halloween movie. It's a horror movie. It's scary. It's supposed to not be really entertaining. Sure, it should be entertaining shit, but you know, it should be a little bit scary. And the fact that fucking Buster Rhymes was the best part of it just makes this sad, you know? Not, or, or sure, Glory was there, but you know. Number eight, Halloween 6. Um, Halloween 6, so they introduced the idea of the Thorn trilogy and shit. The old Thorn idea is really fucking. Re First of all, Thorn. It's not even fucking evil. It's, it's it's the opposite. They don't even know the fucking facts. To fucking yeah, the whole curse of Michael Myers and shit is really fucking retarded. And yeah, this movie was cursed itself. And for uh, and yeah, fucking introduces Paul Rudd into the in the fucking franchise and shit. Uh, you know, Paul introduced Paul Rudd as the first movie. You know, sure I like Paul Rudd, but you know. <laughs> This movie was really, it was not that great, it wasn't, but, you know, yeah. Like, on it, uh, so yeah, that's what, uh, but the reason why I'm ranking it higher than Resurrection is because of Donald Pleasant. Donald Pleasant was, of course, you know, the best part of the movie, him being Dr. Loomis, unfortunately, that was his last time being Dr. Loomis, because he died during production, uh, so, you know, they didn't have much to do with, unfortunately, because of, Dr. L because of fucking Donald Pleasant's death. Rest in peace, Dr. Loomis. You are the greatest. Thank you for all you do. You are awesome. We miss you. We love you. Donald Pleasant, God bless you. Um, so, yeah. And that's, that's what sucks, you know, him fucking passing away. But, yeah, that's why I would definitely rank it higher. Not just to that, because he does great acting as well. So, yeah, that's why I rank it higher than Resurrection. Um, number seven, Halloween 5. Halloween 5 wasn't. It, it, it's not. I, I wouldn't. It is not good. I would just say it's not good. It sure, you know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's not. I don't hate it as much as people say they do, but it's really not that good. You know, it, the movie itself. It's not that good. But Halloween Five, you know, there there is it's supposed to be the sequel to fucking Halloween Four and shit. That that where they introduce this idea of how Daniel Her like fucking Jamie Lloyd. It, it fucking, it's gonna be like the killer. They were just gonna introduce as the killer or something. Or probably be, I don't know, a psychic to Michael. But in reality, they just fucking overwrote that shit. And said, oh, we were gonna do that, but no, we're not gonna do that. It's really fucking retarded what they did. Uh, like, sh let me be honest. The idea, like, here's the thing. I understand. You know, and I am glad that they did not make fucking Daniel Harris, a.k.a. Jamie Will. By the way, Daniel Harris, till this day, holy fuck, Daniel Harris. Fucking her, her in the 40s, I'll fucking the big black guys make her go, oh shit, oh shit, fuck, yeah. But for God's sakes, <laughs> it's a good thing they did not make her the villain, because if you think about it, if you're just like, you know, because she is the main protagonist, you didn't have fucking Jamie Lee Curtis at, to fucking save the day. She was the main, she became the main protagonist. If you just turn into the fucking antagonist and just leave Donald Pleasant, it's not gonna do much. So it's better for fucking, you know, they just had fucking her being, like, still the same. But they should have done something better. I don't know. Like, uh, if, if you guys have heard this guy, this name, David Ray, or, uh, Ray, yeah, something. Like, how, the Halloween 5 should have been made or something. This guy is a pretty cool YouTuber. If you saw his ideas, I think that's what they should have done. And shit, so yeah. I just want to check. Um, sorry people, just want to check. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, Halloween 5, don't hate it, but it's just, it's not that good. Plus, you know, 
killing off Rachel right at, like, you know, earlier and shit. You introduced Tina, you know? Tina became, like, fucking one of the worst characters of Halloween and shit. Uh, you know, people complain about, about also the mask and shit. On uh, the mask is not bad. I thought the mask was it was actually good. It was intimidating and shit. You know, expressionless or something like that. So I like you know, I don't hate it as much as people think they do or say. But it's not that good of a move. It's not. It's not better than fucking Halloween Four and shit. It's definitely you know, it had high expectations but it failed. So. And yeah, the idea that Halloween 6 had to, like, you know, the Thorn Trilogy, they had to fucking wait fix six years. And yeah, they killed off fucking, Dan they killed off, not Dan Daniel Howard was in the fucking book, for fuck's sake, yeah. They killed fucking, you know, Jamie, the fucking character you grew on to love, uh, in the first act, and it was just retarded. And plus, fucking Michael Myers and fucking Jamie having a baby, fucking Michael, became, fucking the baby became... Fucking Mike Myers' just uncle slash daddy or something. It's really fucking like, what the fuck is this? Holy fuck, like, what did they do? They're fucking they're really assessing some redneck fucking shit. Like, holy fuck, it's disgusting. Fucking Michael Myers being a fucking uncle slash fucking baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, Halloween 6 is so bad, but you know, like, ugh. Again, I'm ranking up higher because of fucking Dr. Wu. That's literally the only reason, people. Holy fuck. So we... So that's so far from 11 to fucking 7. That's like, I would say, the not good movies. Now here are the actually kind of decent movies in a way. Uh, number 6, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I have... Uh, yeah. Why people don't like it is because of Michael Myers not being a movie. But if, as a movie itself... It's actually really a good movie. It's not not really really good, but it's actually a decent enough movie for what it is. A John Carpenter film, yeah, it is a good movie. Uh, you know, idea of which I don't know, it's just turning fucking kids into fucking worms or something. I don't know with the mask, the power to mask. Um, you know, the only thing we got in Michael Myers was a fucking TV commercial. But the problem is, here's the thing, people. If they were in a fucking tie to the continuity with Michael Myers, what they could have done, but it's already fucked up with the fucking TV commercial and shit, of how, oh, Michael Myers, or Halloween, or something. But if they didn't have that, and let's say, if they were looking to have continuity in a way, I think that's what they should have done, just have continuity, not fucking show that fucking Halloween, Michael Myers TV fucking promo. Like, what were they thinking? But what they should have done... Is that in a way, if they were tied to Michael Myers, they could have done, you know, the whole Curse of Thorn for Halloween 6. What they should have done is that in a way, they could have done like the mask. What it's what made Michael Myers evil. I don't know, like fucking the ma the mask uh, was became one of the fucking big. I don't know. They could have done something like the, how Michael Myers mask made him evil or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something that keeps continuity going. But hey. For what the movie was, Season of the Mitch, you know, it's really not a bad movie. It, you know, it's good. It's good to watch. Something I would definitely like to watch rather than the bad ones of this series, so. Halloween 5. Um, not Halloween 5. Fucking number 5, I would say. Number 5. Um, Halloween H2O. Um, yeah, so now we're kind of getting to the good good ones, the top 5. Halloween H2O. Um, Halloween H2O, good movie by itself, uh, it, it, not by itself, what the fuck, no, fucking good movie in general. Uh, 20 years later, stupid name though, but fucking 20 years later, fucking, ja fucking Jamie Lee Curtis returns, um, she's trying to hide from Michael Myers and stuff, by not trying to hide her inner demons and shit, but then Michael Myers found her and shit, you know, yeah. You know, that's, uh, 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 yeah, I like the, how they had their confrontation shit, it's cool, uh, bring it back to the old Halloween and stuff. Yeah, it did suck to ignore fucking 4 to 6, even though I understand why 6, because it's just so fucking retarded what they did with 6, but you know, if you could just work with the continuity, but you know, yeah. But they did kind of mention how, like, fucking, like, how Lori died, but in a way, she actually faked her death, so that's something. Um... 
good tribute to Donald Pleasance in this movie where they did tribute to Dr. Lewis' character, but they had like a different voice actor, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, the movie so sad, I enjoyed it. And yeah, this is where, if they were going to only do like, let's say, like, how, how much Halloween, this should have been the last Halloween movie. This was a perfect ending, by the way. But yeah, they fucking ended it with Resurrection, well... You know, they had to do make, make money. It's fucking money, people. That's all it's about. It's about money. That's why they fucking did more movies after that. And, yeah. Like, as much as I hate the reboots, uh, uh, if they wanted to reboot it, they should have just rebooted it after H2O, because this was a perfect ending, in a way. Uh, just like, you know. But, yeah. Oh, Resurrection. Oh! Michael Myers didn't really die, but it just it's just a, a guy. It was like, even though it was... Fucking Michael for Foxy, but you're just making sure, oh, it's not Michael. It's just some guy who has his voice cannot talk. It's like, and even though he acted like Michael, like, fuck off. It's really fucking retarded what they did with Resur Resurrection. It was just a lame excuse for why Michael Myers survived and shit. It's just like, uh. So, if you think about it, the only way to kill Michael, really, aside from fucking Cash, is just get the real Michael, make sure it's really him for somehow, some way, cut his head off and burn the motherfucker. I don't know. That's what they should do as a last movie if they were really do a last movie Halloween shit, so. And I think that's what they should have done for the 2018 movie. Like, in a way, it should have, the 2018 movie should have been the last movie for Michael Myers' Halloween. It should have been the last movie, like, 40 years later, and they end with fucking Lori fucking, I don't know, killing Michael some way, like, fucking, you know, cut the head off and burning it. And, like, how they did, but, you know, like, and then Michael Myers was gone. But, yeah, they showed that, oh... He's alive, apparently, or something. But speaking of 2018, my number four favorite movie is actually Halloween H2... Not Halloween, fucking Halloween 2018. I would actually say this was actually my my fourth favorite movie, and it just came out. Halloween 2018 has become actually my fourth favorite horror movie so far. It, and I would love to actually rank it higher, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. Halloween fucking 2018, already one of my top five, now top four favorite Halloween movies. It's a really good film, I already gave my review on it. Um, you know, sure, it, yeah, it ignores the continuity, which I know, I understand why, because it's stupid retarded shit that happened during the fucking films. And, yeah. It's a good movie overall, and I think, and I enjoy it more better than fucking other, the other movies. The thing is, this movie and H2O could have been so much better if Dr. Loomis was in it. Fucking Donald Pleasant, but unfortunately, you know, yeah, fucking the actor died. It sucks, but you know, God bless him, but hey, it, it would have been perfect. How many H2O would have been perfect? Same thing, fucking H20. Um, it, nice, H40. If they're gonna apparently, cause yeah, now there's rumors of a sequel coming out. If they're gonna fucking do a sequel, this they should have just fucking called this fucking 2018 movie Halloween H40 or something. I don't fucking know. Cause now they're gonna have a, what? They're gonna call the next movie same thing Halloween something? I don't know. But hey, overall Halloween H, uh, fucking 2018 great movie. At least it it would fucking yeah they they mentioned Doc Loomis and shit. You know it's pretty cool. So yeah. Number three, Halloween two. I would say Halloween two is that is my number three third favorite movie. Uh, of course, it's not better than the original, which is why it's number three. But you know, uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, you know, it's it's basically the same movie as Halloween one, but except in the fucking hospital. And yeah, it's revealed that Jamie's fucking you know not Jamie fucking Laurie Strode is fucking Michael Myers' sister. And then fucking, you know, yeah, all the stu crazy stuff, the kills, all this stuff. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the film overall. Uh, and, yeah, it, 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 that was supposed to be the supposed ending to Halloween fucking 2. But, you know, that was supposed to be the end of the Michael Myers story and stuff. But, hey, you know, so it just shows that Michael Myers can't die from fire. Because now, cause because of that... Ten years later, they made a movie where it was Halloween fucking four, uh, which was which was number two, which is my number two favorite movie. Halloween four was basically like kind of like Halloween one in a way, but except it focused more on fucking Jane Lori's daughter, Jane Lloyd, 
Um, it's just named after fucking well, Jamie Lee Curtis and shit. Um, it's really, it's one of my favorites because of fucking Michael Myers. Because it's just, it's, I feel, I felt because it was more scary. It was a way scarier film. But I was on the edge of my seat. I enjoyed it for how it was. Uh, great stuff was going on. Michael Myers was so brutal in this movie. Fucking, so many kills for fuck's sakes. For example, the fucking car scene where fucking Michael Myers was, like, he was underneath the fucking, not the car, it's not a car, but it's like a kind of truck, and fucking killed, like, the fucking workers and shit. While fucking Jamie and fucking, what's her name, Rachel was in it, and, and then fucking, it was crazy, and then fucking the, the gun, the fucking big shootout, and that fucking Jamie Lloyd with the fucking knife, crazy as fuck. Um, Doc Loomis was great in this film. Everyone was great in this film. I enjoyed it. My second favorite Halloween movie, and I was terrified when I watched this movie when I was a kid, and I enjoy it now. Uh, my number one, obviously, it's obviously the fucking number one best movie, Halloween, the original Halloween. Um, you know, it's obvious, but it's just a fucking classic, and it's just really fucking good. Uh, it introduced fucking Laurie Strode. That introduced Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. She was great in the fucking... Sure, I understand why people say, oh, like... Because there are people out there who say that 2018 film is way better. It has exceeded this film in a way. But the reason why... I, of course, like, yeah, it's sure is classic. It's nostalgic. But it's not just that. It's just like I felt like... If only... Like, the thing is, I enjoyed this more because, of course, Donald Pleasance. His fucking acting. His monologue. I, sh uh, I met him 15 years ago... Uh, you know, the fucking the entire monologue of Dr. Loomis is, is fucking famous, you know, his famous monologue and stuff. Dr. Loomis being who he was, you know, the great actor he was. Michael being introduced to us, being the fucking shape, whatever the hell, you know. Uh, you know, it's just fucking, it, it's a good movie. It's, uh, and it's, 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 it's a great movie, introduced the fucking, brought slash of films to a fucking max. You know, inspired films like fucking Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, the Friday the 13th, you know, Lime or Elf, Meet the Street, or whatever the fuck. So, that's really all I done gotta say, honestly. Those are my rankings. So, going through it, yeah, number 11 is fucking the 2009 Halloween 2. Number 10, Halloween 1, 2000, uh, 2007. Number 9, no, that was number 10. Number 9 is Halloween Resurrection. Number 8, Halloween 6. Number 7, Halloween 5. Number 6. Halloween Season of the Witch, oh, uh, number three, number number five, Halloween H2O, number four, that 2018 uh, Halloween movie, number three, Halloween 2, number two, Halloween 4, and number one, ha the original Halloween. So that's all we got done got to say, people. Um, yeah, those are great Halloween, not, not great, what the fuck, no. From basically fucking 11 to fucking, 11 to 7 in a way. Uh, those are not the greatest Halloween movies, but those, uh, like, I still enjoy watching, not the Rob Zombie films, I don't fucking care, I will never want to watch a Rob Zombie film ever again, but at, even though, fucking, you know, from Resurrection to fucking Halloween 6, Halloween 5, I still enjoy watching them for what it was, though, I still do, even though they, they're not as good as the fucking other films, I still enjoy watching them, though. So, that's all I don't gotta say, I'm the reason why fuck it, got big muscles, got big abs, I can't really show them, cause I don't know. It's hard to open my fucking stuff, but it's, I have a big black couch, so fucking bitch my couch, and drink some wine, that's the magnificent to me. This is all I need, people, no fucking candy, cheers to motherfucker. Happy Halloween, or late Halloween, and yeah. Um, go Halloween. I love Halloween, favorite horror movie franchise, um, and yeah. That's why I felt it's fitting to do this video, especially because, you know, it's Halloween. And that's called Halloween, but yeah, it's late. But it is what it is. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Run! Hey, you, you can see.
Go watch Halloween movies for Halloween today!